Okay, I'm gonna try to do everything right here. I'm gonna try to do the cut board. I'm gonna do it all right there. Stop worrying about what's back there, okay? There's no guns or drugs back there. Hey, I'm looking at this video. This guy named B dot O dot B dot, and he has a shirt with a big gold chain and a belt. Look at that. I almost forgot what he's doing. Okay, he's doing apples. Okay, so he has water. Oh my God, look at that. And he has nice cups. This one I like better for some reason. Okay, he has a freaking belt too. I got one of those, but it's emerald. This guy is famous. Okay. Granny Smith apples, one keloid. Okay. As you saw, uh, notorious B dot O dot B dot. He is a good friend of mine. That was just a joke. Uh, I have a belt too. Okay, let me get my belt. Okay. I mean, if you got a belt, you might as well show it off, right? Make sure that's in frame. Okay. 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 Um, we got apples here. This is a three pound bag, but I actually weighed it up. Look, I weighed it up and in the store, it was like three and a half pounds. So I weighed every bag up. Some bags weigh three pounds, some weigh three and a half. So I got an extra half a pound by weighing it up in the store. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut them all. And uh, I was gonna use a knife at first and then I saw he had one of these deals. So I'm gonna get fancy. Oh, wow, that works better than I thought. Usually, usually I use another method. I'll show you real quick. He has some fun facts about Granny Smith that I'll probably put a voiceover in and do it like he did to be professional like him. But this is the way I usually do it, okay, folks? Do not try this at home. And the guards messed up on here. Look, there's no guards, so you gotta do it like this. This is not, yeah, this is not kosher. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that is not good. You gotta hold it like this. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scaring you. I'll stop. I'll do it the regular way. They're all scary people. All right, let me get the rest of these done and I will weigh it up on the camera. Okay, from this point on, it's gonna be one shot, okay? One shot. So this bowl is gonna be I try to use this one, but this scale, there's no way to, I guess, you, eh, it won't work. So, not that one. This one's too big. It's like little locks in the three bears. This one's too big. That's what she said. Um, so, this one's just right. I got this U.S. It's approved by the United States Postal Service. Okay? And that's not Coke. That is, uh. That's not coke on there, guys. That is uh, confectionery sugar, okay? All right, I'm gonna tear this out and I'll grab this camera so you can see it. It is at zero, so 2.2 pounds. Might as well just put all this on there. I'll take away because I'm not doing. Woo! 
that's without the core so I'm taking some of these out whoops Two point two. No, we're gonna get that out of there. Two point two three. Okay, we'll do it like that. So that is what's in there. I'll keep that in the same shot. No hocus pocus. And I'll put the time on the screen um, later. I don't even know what his time was. I can look at the video real quick. I think he got an 8, 34-ish. Wow, 8.34 Okay, you heard from him. 8.34. So, he said it's pretty difficult to do. Uh, it's not as easy as you thought. So... Okay. Go this out of the way. And I'm gonna have to, to, to do something with this belt. I don't know if I should just wear it while, while I'm doing it. I don't know if you can see me with the belt. Okay. Okay. I really would like a timer. Got to be one camera angle, guys. I can't. I gotta. I gotta do it like that, or people think I'm cheating. I got better things in life to do, you know. I guess, but cheat. All right. And you can drink fluids with it. So. All right. Here we go. Your mark. Get set. Hey, I'm going to just do a quick disclaimer. The 2.2 pounds that I thought that was was 2 pounds, 2 ounces. So actually, this was 0.97 uh, kilograms. So the 0 0.03, um, I'm, I apologize, but hopefully that doesn't mess up my time too much. But I just want to say that I, I, when I weighed it up, I wasn't even thinking about the ounces part of it. Okay, I stopped selling dope 20 years ago. So um, just didn't cross my mind, okay? Uh, well, other than that, I wanted to say um, about uh, B.O.B. He's a real good friend of mine. I, I just put the belt on, and I look really, really strange with the belt up that high. But I didn't. I want to make sure you saw it because he put it in the frame too. So I was just being funny like that. Then the the cup I did put in the corner here because I forgot the whole time that he did put his cup in in my in the frame, and he tries to help me out and I, and. Friends, that's what friends do so that's why i put the cup in here okay so uh as well in descriptions you can check his uh shit <laughs> look people i ain't perfect okay just check the descriptions it'll be in there um uh, but he did tell a story about uh granny smith uh, from australia that actually invented these apples not invented but you know grew them and founded them uh, but the seeds, uh, you can't grow from these apples. You can't grow an apple tree from these seeds. And that was strange because I thought you could grow f anything from seeds, uh, legal and illegal. But the uh, Granny Smith story he told, I don't know, it sounded pretty, pretty legit. But I did some research on the Internet. And, you know, if it's on the Internet, it has to be true. Well, the story of Granny Smith, actually, I think she killed her husband and with arsenic. And the seeds build up over time. I'm not going to tell you everything because you're not going to go kill nobody because you heard this video. I do. I disclaim all this, okay? Well, she just killed her husband, I think, and her name is Granny Smith, okay? That's what happened. So, it was on the internet. I did not find, I found it on the internet. I did not write it, okay? Wiki, wik, wik, Wikipedia, or whatever that is. So, 
enough of me babbling. I'm just getting this uh, these apples down. And I didn't even use hardly any fluids because I remember doing the broccoli challenge. And the broccoli uh, with the fluids did not, it didn't even matter. It just went right through the broccoli. So I knew the same thing with this apple that it was going to do the same thing. So uh, much as this, uh, I tell people I'm really good at the uh, the hard to chew stuff because I stopped smoking cigarettes about 15 years ago, and I don't uh, and I chew gum, so I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. So I started chewing gum. I chew gum all day long, so it helps the jaw muscles out with the gum. Okay, folks. So I'm just going to finish up here, uh, looking um, kind of crazy with the belt on, and if you just tuned in and saw me with the belt on go back and watch the whole video okay folks
And this whole time, I wanted to do this, but I didn't want to go out of frame. He put my cup up. He put my cup up the whole time. So in this picture, I probably, excuse me, I probably put that cup over there in front of it. So, sorry about that, Bob. I, I, I did the belt and everything else. I forgot to put the cup up. But he's helped me out a lot. Uh, he's a good, real good friend. I want to thank I want to thank Bob for doing the series, and um, he's well deserved. And he's almost trying to he's trying to get hundred thousand subscribers. So uh, check his channel out if you haven't. It'll be in the descriptions and uh, maybe below right here. Not really right here, but you know on your screen right there. So, all right, thanks guys. Hey, um, I almost forgot, um, because I wore a shirt, but I didn't say anything, but one-legged Honda mechanic, um, he's, um, has some subscribers, but he definitely needs more. I mean, he's a real funny guy. Um, he does, uh, he works on a lot of Hondas, uh, but he works on cars. Um, and he's in a wheelchair. He has one leg, so one-legged Honda mechanic. That's what the shirt, see, the shirt has a one leg with a Honda. I really like that logo. But if you look in the description as well, you see, uh, Ben's, um, uh, just uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to check his channel out, uh, if you like it, please subscribe, hit the notify bell. A uh, real good friend of mine. He's been to a couple of my challenges and uh, we're about to, he's probably going to be at two more of them because I'm about to go down to Atlanta and um, do some challenges there. So please check his channel out as well.